Hi everyone, in this video we are going to uh, create and apply an extended access list and uh, now to demonstrate the use of extended access list we have a network here and this network you can see we have these maybe three different networks and here we have one network here you can see this network in this network we have uh, two computers and uh, here this is a network where we have a web server so here you see this is a machine and this machine has been configured as a web server and uh, on let's say on this web server we have some website which is hosted here and we can access this website from any any computer in this network or in this network and maybe we can we can see it whether we are able to reach that website or not so we go sorry we go to web browser and in the web browser we will be giving the ip address of this web server actually we haven't configured any dns server otherwise we could have uh, used some human readable name here and in one of my videos actually i have demonstrated that how to configure dns server in packet tracer but at the moment let's say uh, this is the web server and the ip address for this web server is 172.16.0.10 and on this web server we have some website and to access that website i am on this computer this pc2 let's say on this network and uh, yes maybe i'll just show you again so click there and go to browser and in the browser we have to write the ip address of this web server that is 172.16.0.10 and we press enter and you can see it shows some website which is hosted there you can see you can browse it like that so some some website which is hosted here and also from this pc if you want to try if you want to see that whether from this pc are you able to uh, access this website on this computer or not so you can go and 172.16.0.10 press enter and you can see this website is accessible and now in today's activity we want to block this this traffic going from this pc let's say if i draw it maybe to fill some color and maybe this color let's so let's say from this pc we want to uh, block http traffic going from this pc to this web server so we only want to block only that traffic which is going from this computer to this web server and only http traffic not any other traffic so this is our intention this is something we want to do so in this case actually we know the source ip address and we also have the destination ip address so in this case we don't we use extended access list and in this extended extended access list uh, what we do we will be uh, we will try to use that access access list or we will try to uh, create and apply that access list as close to the source as possible so now you see here this is the source from where we want to block our traffic so this is the router this is the immediate router which is collecting which is connected to our source network so we'll select that router and on that router we will create this access or the extended access control list we go to cli and then press enter here we say uh, to go to privilege mode we have the command enable and then we go to global configuration mode using configure terminal command and here we are going to create the access list and for that I'm sorry for that uh, access, for that we have a command that is and we want to create a named extended access list so instead of numbers we'll be using some name for that so first we are going to create access list for that we have ip is the command ip access list and then we are saying extended and you can also use with you can get help using question mark so what comes next is whether you want to create a standard access list or the extended access list so we are creating actually extended access list and actually have in some other video we have the complete introduction about the difference between extended and the standard access list maybe i'll put the link of that video in the description section anyway so we are interested in making this uh, extended access list so extended keyword has been used and after that we have to give the name let's say any name we can give so for me i am going to give it a name of my access list and then question mark and it says there's nothing let's press enter so now you can see we are creating an access list and the name of that access access list is my al and now in this access list i have to create some statements uh, so i have to write some lines by by which we can block or allow traffic 
So our intention in this case is to block HTTP traffic from this specific host going to this web server. So now the host IP address is 192.168.12.3. So here we say deny, deny, and then we have to give the uh, protocol. What protocol we want to block? So we want to maybe block this www or HTTP traffic and that uh, we block with the help of some protocol and that protocol transport layer protocol used for that is TCP so you can see here we have the TCP and then we have to use let's say what we have it says that we have we can use host we can use any, any specific IP address or we can use any source host but in, the, in this case in our case we know uh, that we want to block traffic from some specific host so I use the keyword host and then I give the IP address at 192.168.12.3 so 192.168.12.3 so that is the specific host from where I want to block HTTP traffic and then we have to give the destination so in the case of destination again we have a specific host that specific host is actually our web server so the web server IP address is 172.16.0.10 so we say uh, use a keyword host and then say 172.16.0.10 so now we have specified both the source uh, source host and the destination host and now let's see what we need to give I'm again getting help by using question mark it said now we have to use a keyword equal or established greater than less than not equal to so at that at the moment I'm just uh, interested in blocking uh, specific port so I can say equal and then question mark and for that maybe we can use www is for World Wide Web, Telnet, SMTP so at the moment I'm blocking this www traffic so I'll say www and then let's say question mark say nothing we can use established or press enter we press enter and now this access list has been created for us and in this access list we are going to deny certain traffic going from one specific host that is this one uh, going from this host to this web server so we have created an access list and now in every access list the last statement is uh, deny any any so they'll be blocking all of the traffic so in that case we are going to explicitly permit all of the remaining traffic and for that we are going to use a command uh, the keyword that is permit and then we say which protocol that permit IP and then say going from any node to any from any source node to any destination node and then we just press enter permit IP any any so here I have just press enter and now we, our access list is complete and now we have to apply that access list to some of the interfaces of this router here you can see here in this case uh, we are selecting this FA00 interface which is connected with this network with this network right this FA00 and in this FA00 we want to uh, block the traffic which is coming from so incoming traffic from this network we want to block here at this interface so, it, so that it should not leave this router and go this one so we want to we are using extended access control list and extended access control list should be applied as close to the source as possible so the source is here and this is the interface we will be applying so we click on this router and then we go to that particular interface so from here I'm going to write uh, exit and then say interface and fast ethernet 0 slash 0 press enter now we are in that particular interface and in this uh, on this interface we have to apply that access list which we created so for that we have a command that's IP access group and now we have to give the name of the access list which we created so if you remember the name of the access list we created was my AL my access list and then we just have to now we have to specify let me get help from question mark so now we have to specify that whether we want to apply this traffic to inbound traffic or the inbound packets or the outbound packets so as I mentioned before like here say that now we want to apply this to incoming traffic to this router so that they should not leave and go uh, to this this web server 
so we are going to yes we are going to say we are going to apply to incoming or the inbound packets and then let's say what question mark say we don't have anything else so press enter and now it means we have applied we have created access list and we have applied that access list to this fa0 slice 0 interface and then we are we are back and uh, now we just we want to verify that are we able to access the web page hosted on this web server that's 172.16.0.10 so now to verify from this host i'm going to click again on that host and then click on web browser and here we say 172.16.0.10 press enter and uh, maybe request is going to this web server we need to wait until we get a final reply from this web server let's see what will be the result and say so the request timeout it means we were not entertained by this so the traffic actually didn't leave this interface of the router and let's say does it affect the second host which is available in the same network so from there we need to verify so we go to that computer and then click desktop click web browser and a web browser we need to give the ip address of this web server that is 172.16.0.10 press enter and you can see yes we can access from this computer which is actually on the same network but we actually blocked specific host so in the same way we can block the traffic from this whole network as well so yeah so for that we we have a bit different so instead of giving host we will be giving the network address but for this activity, I just wanted to show you that how we can block uh, traffic or the HTTP traffic going from some specific host to some specific server. So this is what I wanted to show you. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video. Thanks.